Okay, I'm going to break our flooring videos down by type because when we cover it in class, it's really overwhelming because we have lots of different types of materials. Um, and within that, you all have a lot of variation too, which is great. Um, but this one is just going to be for tile. I'm going to do two versions though, because I'm going to show you one that would have more of a shiny kind of glossy finish to it. Um, I'm going to use this uh, sample here. It's kind of like a travertine sort of stripey. Um, and then I'm going to use this uh, more natural granite that I want to have, you know, less of a finished toned look and kind of more of a rough surface, more of the, like the natural stone of it. All right, so back over in Revit, we're going to go to the Manage tab and Materials. Now, um, kind of in playing with this and thinking this out for more of you, um, stone is a hard one to kind of fuss around with, but behind the scenes, there's more material we can use. So instead of using concrete, which we were kind of using as a default, um, that doesn't work for you folks who want something shiny. So honestly, let's start instead with default one. Um, if you type in the words default, it'll come up. It's also listed there alphabetically. Um, hopefully this won't hang for too long. Let's see, okay, there it goes. So see this like gray ball? That's like your completely generic, nothing is there yet. We're using this because we're gonna pull in some uh, flooring from um, materials from the asset library, which is like a big behind the scenes. You can also use this floor one too. I, either works to be honest. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna right click and say duplicate. And again, use the, use the generic term of what you're putting in. So in my case, it's tile. And um, ideally I'd put the make and brand and all this, but in this case, I'm just gonna call it shiny right now. Um, so there, sometimes there is stuff preloaded in here um, and you can bring it up. Right now, that's all that we got. So we wanna go to this larger library that's kind of hiding behind the scenes. So I'm gonna click on this little blue and white box. It says it opens the asset browser. This is all the assets that come with Revit, all the behind the scenes stuff. What we wanna pick is this appearance library because I'm trying to find something that has a similar appearance. Um, I could go to flooring, so but there's not a ton of options. If I click on stone, see what comes up. Um, which is not too bad. So we can do that. So we can use stone flooring. Um, so my first one, remember, is it's already kind of a travertine. It might be a little shiny. Let's see. Well, let's try this one. It's my, my browser is kind of in the way. Um, we'll try this one. Let's see what that looks like. So what you do is you click this back and forth arrow. And what it does is it replaces what I had um, in the default um, for the one that I've been working on. Sorry, it's kind of like scrolled away on it that I'm working on here. Let's make sure we're back to where it wants to be. Default uh, tile, hold on, let's see. Kind of as I'm talking, it's jumping away on me. Tile shiny, all right, there's my tile shine. It's got this new travertine. I don't want this picture. Instead, I'm gonna left click on the name right here. And then I'm gonna navigate to my material files on my computer. So it's here for our class project. Um, and I'll kind of bring them up so you can see too. So we're going to view them as details or actually thumbnails, sorry. Um, so here it is here. There's my kind of glossier one that I want to use. So I'm going to say open. Now I want to check the math in this guy. I wrote my own notes that this image should be 48 inches square based on kind of math of the size of the tiles. Didn't come in that. So I want to scroll down and type in 48 inches by 48 inches. Now, if you need a different number to different proportion, you're gonna to have to click that lock and unlock it to kind of force it. So I'm gonna say done. Now, the other thing I can look at is um, how glossy it is. So I can kind of pull this up a bit if I want this to be a little bit shinier. Um, I'm gonna say, also go to graphics, pick use render appearance, say apply, say okay. All right, so that's my first tile that I've created, my first material. Haven't made the floor yet. I'm gonna go make my second material now so I can show you the difference. So I'm going to go to, again, I'm on the Manage tab. Let me show you that again, Manage tab, Materials button. Um, again, I want to find the, use the default. So you can kind of scroll to it or you can kind of, you know, put it in the search engine. I'm going to right click, say duplicate. This time it's going to be tile. And I think I'm, uh, I forget if it was granted or not. I'm just going to put tile, um, matte finish. I'm kind of, I can change the name later if I want to. Um, under appearance double click this, I mean, click on the white box so I don't overwrite it. Um, and now again, I'm gonna go back to the assets library, click on here, under appearance library, I'm gonna open that up, gonna look at flooring, gonna look at my options in stone. And there is some granite, so I'm gonna pick, um, I can kind of wind this up, see what colors we're talking about. Oh, let's start with a brown black, it's kind of what I have. So I'm gonna click on the arrows, 
close this up. And now it's it replaced that generic pattern with this. So I'm gonna again, click on the name, um, go navigate back to my files here. Oh, there it goes. Um, do, do, do. Here we go here, here we go here. And it's this one right here. So I'm gonna open that. Again, check on the math, take a look at it if I scroll down. So again, this guy's off and I can see the proportions are not equal. It's not square where I know it's a square. And it's, I know it's also a four foot by four foot square. So I'm gonna put four foot in, four foot, uh, done. Um, this one's a little bit glossier than I probably want. So I'm gonna pull that down a little bit, say apply, okay. So now I have two tiles in here that I can use to build my floors. So now I go to architecture, floor, and then, oops, hold on, let me go back. I kind of jumped a spot there. Let's see, let me pull this over here. Red click. All right, so again, let me talk this out. So it's architecture, floor, floor architectural, because a lot of you have this set up on your machines too. So now over here under properties, I'm gonna click on the down arrow, bring it all the way down until I find this ceramic tile option, because this is gonna have the structure for a tile floor. So now I'm gonna click on edit type and I wanna duplicate this. I don't wanna overwrite it just in case. And I'm gonna call this uh, tile one, shiny, just to keep track of things. Say, okay, now click the edit button. And then here where it says tile mosaic, you have to click on it and then those three little dots come up. So you click on the three little dots and then we're gonna find that tile. So here it is right here. There's my shiny one. I say, okay, say, okay, okay again. And now I'm going to draw it in one of these rooms here. So I'm going to actually I'll use it over here. We'll do it here. This will be like my kitchen room. I'm going to click the green arrow, click away. And right now, oh, there you go. So it's came in there nice and shiny. If you don't see yours anywhere, what you want to do is go to the second box here at the bottom and you want to be looking at realistic. Consistent colors is just going to give me kind of like the blob of it. Um, you know, there it is there. One of the things, let me show you that's happening is it doesn't have a hatch pattern to it. So when we do this in black and white, we might want to have a hatch pattern. So the way we edit that is we go back to Enscape, not Enscape, I'm sorry. So we go back to manage, then we go to materials. And so for this one under shiny, I'm going to edit the appearance of the graphics. So here, it's already here in the graphics. So this is that pattern that right now it doesn't have one. So we're going to click on that and give it this cross hatch right here. So I'm gonna use that as kind of like my hatch pattern, say, okay, let me get that out of the way, there we go, apply, okay. Um, and what we'll see is this will change automatically. So if I go back to hidden, there it is there. So this will come out in my construction documents, correct? But when I go to render, it's gonna give me this tile pattern. Right now it looks really bleached out. And we talked about this in class because right now my building doesn't have a floor or a ceiling. So if it's trying to read the sunlight, there is a ton of sunlight flooding in here. Um, as we put ceilings and the rest of the floors in, this should even out to be more correct color-wise. And we'll kind of test it on Enscape too and make sure it's doing that correctly. But right now, for what this pro program is doing, that's, that's actually correct because of all the sunlight. All right, so we're gonna make the next tile floor. So we go to architecture, we go to floor, and then it kind of jumped all of a sudden back to it anyhow. So then we're gonna go again to wood joist ceramic tile edit type and now again we're going to duplicate and this one's going to be tile we'll call this tile two mat and say okay and then we're going to hit the edit button and then on the top here where it says tile mosaic we're going to click on the words till the three dots come up click on the three dots you'll we'll we'll be dealing with the three dots a lot in Revit. all right so we're going to click on the tile mat now that's the one i made earlier Oh, you know what? Look at it now. Make sure it's got use render appearance. Kind of double check it. All right. Apply. Okay. 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 <laughs> now we're going to get the square and I'm going to put it down in this bathroom. Let's kind of see how that looks in there. And then the green arrow, I mean the green check mark, sorry. And then let's see how that looks. That one's looking pretty good. It might be a little bigger than it should be, but I can kind of go back and fuss with the math. So this is how you're going to do tile. The, again, the best option is to think about what's the base material, how shiny it is. Um, if you don't know, or if you have questions, please ask me and we'll kind of like troubleshoot it together. Because a lot of it, again, is thinking about how the light is bouncing off that surface. So we get uh, the most realistic rendering we can out of it.